Welcome. This is David Bowles. Human Meme. Today's topic, COVID-19, Uncanny Valley. Well, we all love a good conspiracy theory. We recently discussed the coronavirus conspiracies right here in your favorite human meme podcast. And together we wondered aloud at the conspiracy ideas that are abundant. And today, now, we need to take the next logical step into the unreal and become to live in the uncanny valley. The uncanny valley where paranoia and disinformation pretend to live as real fake people, and the world is alarming, and things are mistaken for reality and comfort of fact. This new uncanny valley prairie is populated with more than just conspiracy. There are things of the uncanny that are evil and recognizable and that create paranoia and distrust by absolute design designed by people, Cretans really, who clearly know better than to start a disinformation campaign against an entire population of scared and tepid people. We think we live in a real world with real people until we discover the lies propping up deceit and untruths thriving in the dust among us. Let's start our examination with the fusillade of lies against Bill Gates and his wife, Melinda. Bill and Melinda Gates give millions of dollars to help fight illness and poverty all over the world. And yet, those who populate the uncanny valley believe Bill Gates invented COVID-19, so that he can either implant everyone so he can track them, or so that he can make money off a vaccine that he is creating. And there's no proof for any of those uncanny lies. There is no proof based in fact. No, only vicious fictions published anonymously online Accusations only. Accusations created to, I guess, insult and wound the reputation of one of the biggest philanthropists in the world. Bill Gates is trying to save the world, not enslave it. And if you happen to believe otherwise, please provide some proof for the rest of us. Please provide evidence that is not welded to the far-right cause of dismay and cruelty and the re-election campaign of Donald Trump. And we know many of these uncanny valley lies started in Russia and end in the American pages of social media. Russia wants to sow discourse and hatred here among us, and Russia has the money influence, and the power to do that. Because we are, by our human nature, a low information and trusting people. And when Russian forces join with Das Homeland conservative groups set on creating an authoritarian government and not one of freedom and democracy, well, those sorts of alliances are easy to forge with a nickel. Remember, Russia is not our friend. Russia is out to get us. That's a fact. They don't hide that secret. This is not uncanny paranoia from a people. And my human meme friend, the sooner everyone realizes that Russia is not in this with us, they are in it against us. And when we act upon not letting that sort of disinformation sway us, 
well, the better off we will all be in returning to a normal life. Coronavirus is a gift to Russia because they can refocus blame in order to achieve their end. The end of democracy in America. Believe that. Now, the most uncanny part of our new uncanny valley reality is this newfangled idea of opening up parts of America while other parts of America remain closed. Come again? Do you see a problem with that? And please keep in mind that America will never be open, really, until the state of New York opens. Because all the economy of the United States flows through New York more than any other state. But you could also consider this, thinking of being open while closed, and someone from Idaho goes to New York, New York, which is still closed, and that person from Idaho becomes infected by New York. Or maybe that person reinfects New York. That Idaho person then returns to Idaho and unwittingly spreads COVID-19 all around that open state and closes it. Open and closed at the same time cannot work. We're either all closed or we're all open together. And let's keep going. Let's reverse this thought. Let's say someone from closed New Jersey manages to somehow escape the state. Not hard to do. And that New Jerseyan visits open North Dakota. And that person from New Jersey is either COVID-19 positive or they somehow become COVID-19 positive while visiting North Dakota. And then that New Jersey person turns around and returns home to New Jersey to infect people all over again in New Jersey or to leave behind a whole new viral infection strain in North Dakota. Open, closed, same time, it's madness, I say. We cannot have it both ways, open while being closed, closed while being open, but we live in a selfish world, the new world of the uncanny valley, where everyone, the uncanny, wants theirs before anyone else. And that's how a panic spreads into a pandemic. And that's how a plague begins to never end. Open, closed, closed, open, cross-contamination by proxy. And all of this is sublimely performed, all in the spirit of the me-first chorus of open state Americans, all wishing for their freedom against their hope for death. And here's another uncanny episode to hurl at you. Here's a big new thing, a whole new horror, and it happens to be this, the recorded Uncanny Valley overheard conversation between uncanny automatons. And that conversation just happens to promote one medical therapy over another. Now, this overhearing was actually a recording, so it was surreptitious and not official, but on purpose. Well, if you listen to the recording, you might just get a stock market clue about a certain medication that can help stop the spread of COVID-19. Who knew? So practical, so simple, so cynical. Oh, sure. The head of a drug company just happens to be recorded, and then that recording just happens to be released to every news outlet in the world. And then this drug company just happens to skyrocket monetarily on news of the leak. Oh, don't be fooled. Be smart. There's no such thing as a coincidence. And always remember your opinion has value. Your ideas are worth money. 
And yet there are people and states and political directives out there working really hard against you to steal all of your goodness and kindness and harmony, all in order for your goodwill to be used against you and against everything you know and love in the world. And yet those people care not one whit about you. So, yes, we live in the uncanny valley, and we're there full time now, and we are not aware of our own uncanniness, COVID-19 or coronavirus or not. And that's the entire point of those who are trying really, really hard to create this parallel truth and a varnished truth. They want you to believe in an unreality that is just as fake enough to pass off as something valid. And all the while, our pockets are being picked to pay off the big banks, while the little guy can't make rent. We can't pay for our food. We cannot take care of our families or our kids. And all the monetary relief goes to the rich and the connected. And we, the rest of us, are supposed to shut up and sit down and be fine with all of that. And yes, my human meme friend, this is our America right now, right here in the uncanny valley. Now, this is your nightmare reality. Wake up, break the dream, shatter the mirror that reflects only you and does not reveal the person holding your image. Look behind the lie and you will find the real enemy lingering alone in the cool comfort of your shadow. Thank you for listening. Be a human meme.